Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we're back at the track. It's time to do some maintenance and a little more cleanup. And we've got some huge news for you. We'll be back in just a minute. Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we're back working on the track. It's time to do some maintenance, make these jumps bigger, do a little bit of cleanup. And we've got a big news for you. So first, before we start on the track stuff, I just want to give out a huge thank you to Echelon Hobbies. They're in Brighton, Ontario. Here where we are, we're just a, a few minutes away down the road. They've been helping us out with all our parts and stuff that we've been breaking and busting. Um, we bought our first RC from them. That'll be coming up in a couple of weeks here on the, the channel. We're gonna do a nice review of it. And they were gracious enough to help us out with this huge Traxxas banner. Uh, you can see it down there in the ground. So just give me a second, I'll turn this camera around and we'll roll that thing out. So I can't thank them enough at Echelon Hobbies. They gave us this huge uh, Traxxas banner. Get her all rolled out here. There we go. Get back so you can see it. It's a nice big, it's about six feet, probably by two feet. Um, once we get just over here is where we're gonna build our stand. Uh, we're gonna do some of that cleanup today actually to get ready to build it. Um, we're going to be able to hang that Traxxas banner right on the front. It's going to really help our track look nice and official. Since, hey, we are Traxxas fanboys, you know, here. Just kidding. We like all the brands, but we're big fans of Traxxas. So, hey, if you hear this, come on over to the channel. We love you guys. All right, so give us a few minutes. I'll be back, and we'll show you what we're getting up to. A few moments later. So, if you can see here behind me, we've already started a little bit. We're trying to kind of clean it up and get it flattened down. Get some of those holes from the original build done yanking out some weeds and we started with this jump first we decided they were just weren't big enough so we kind of scraped some dirt from that end brought it this end that should really give us a nice good launch next we're going to go over to this jump here we got one on the other side there to do we're just going to kind of try and rake everything up flatten it out we got a little bit uh a little bit of bumps and dips here Let's see if i can walk over here and show you like right here Right here is a really good hole and then it jumps up right here. We just want to be able to kind of keep it a nice flat run up to all the jumps. Um, and we got this big pile of rocks over here. Got a couple little ones over there, but we got this big pile of rocks here. We want to get it to the center. We hammered into that a few times. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. Cut the rest of that tree down. We're just going to cut uh, some of this brush and stuff over here out of the way. Make a nice pile so we can build our crawler course over there get our stand built, all sorts of stuff. But uh, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time here, get this track ready, and then maybe we'll turn some more laps now that we got our slash fix, thanks to Echelon Hobbies. All right, so here we go. We got the jumps made bigger. I'm not sure if you can tell from the camera or not, but they should be a whole lot bigger. A little bit more of a lift off of them. Another one there, and then we got the one on the other side. We have went through and kind of cleaned it up and flattened it down as best we can again. We gotta get one of those tamper things there, I think. And uh, we're, we're debating on maybe buying ourselves like an old lawn tractor or something with like a, a blade on it or something. I think that will really help to, uh, we can lay some water down, do all sorts of different things on the tracks. And when we cut the uh, the circle track and that over there, that'll really help to clean up all that brush and stuff. So I think that's gonna be one of our next investments. Um, we do have the shop build coming up here pretty soon. Uh, so here's the other nice big jump here. And then we got the other one here. And as you can see, we've been we've been cleaning it all up. Got our corners and stuff, a few more of the vines and stuff cut out of the way. Got all the rock piles uh, moved out of the way. Getting ready for a crawler course. Got one big pile there. Another big massive pile there. So uh, give us a minute. We're gonna head back to the shop. Um, here, I'll walk over this way. Actually, we've been starting to clear the path so that way we can invite friends and viewers and anyone want, that wants to come back. We're getting the path all cleared up there, nice and wide so everyone can come back. And once we get the stand built, that's when we're gonna invite people back. So we're, that's what we're gonna do next um, and add, uh, add wood to all the corners too. So that way we can bank them up. So give us a minute. We're gonna take a walk back to the shop. We'll show you what we fixed on the slash. And then we'll come back and turn a few laps. So we got the new A-arms in the back there. Um, last time we split it there, if you can see, she just split. I mean, we've been bashing it pretty hard ever since, uh, ever since we got it. 
Um, so we put on the new ones there. They're uh, nice and heavy duty. Um, they are part number 3655R. Um, they're the uh, they're the heavy duty cold weather material suspension arms, but they're they're a lot beefier than the ones that we had on it. That's for sure. And uh, remember. If you're around our area, make sure you shop at the same place we do, Echelon Hobbies. We'll post another picture of their card here. That's where we buy all our parts. They're, uh, they're a great friend of the channel. So give me a minute. Throw the body on. We're going to take this thing to the back and turn a few laps. So now that we're fixed, we're just going to turn ourselves, you know, 10 or 15 laps here. Hammer the jumps for a little bit. See how they are. We haven't quite got the, uh, the little camera to work yet. Well, the camera works, but we can't seem to figure out how to get the film off of it or from the computer to be able to to uh put, put it onto our video here we do all of our editing on our phone i think we may end up having to uh to transfer that over to the, do the editing on our computer um so that way we can use that footage um but as we, we'll turn a few laps here we'll cut in a few uh close-ups and hitting the jumps that kind of things in the corners as we're driving along but uh let's tear this track up some more Oh, gotta play with our steering trim a little bit here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All those jumps are way better. This uh, this car is all like I said, almost too fast for this track. We uh, we do have something something new coming, a little bit smaller. Um, I think it's gonna be a great fun for the channel. We, uh, we also, oh, we're over up the corner there. We also have that Traxxas link that we still haven't, uh, haven't used. It's sitting in the box. We're going to have to get that thing out. That'll probably help with our some of our steering trim. Oh, I think we buried ourselves in a hole. Uh, sorry, like I was saying, I think that'll help with some of our, our steering and uh, that kind of other settings. So we'll, uh, we're definitely going to have to get that out of the box and play with it. Ooh. It's really nice to have our own little track to play on. Can't wait to be able to invite some of you guys over to, to play on it with us. Yeah. Whoa, right off the side. I do enjoy driving the Bigfoot around this track as well. It's just, uh, oh. Got all caught up. It's just a, a little bit slower. It's a little bit easier to handle. She really nose dies off that corner. We may end up having to uh to do a little bit of work to it. But that corner is really good, and the, the first corner over there is really good. I think we're gonna go along with the digger a little bit right there in that first corner, back corner. See if we can get that bump taken out of there a little bit. Oh, roll over, but back. we're back on it. Yeah, she definitely knows. Oh, we're stuck in the dirt, I think. Yeah, I think with that with that Traxxas link playing with our, our throttle settings and stuff like that a little bit will really will really help. But uh oh, right off that corner. We're uh Try to see if we can turn a fast lap here. Oh, there goes our fast lap. <laughs> we're still, like I said, we're we're still getting used to this whole driving the RC again. We did we did a lot when we were kids, but uh, oh, now in our adult life, as you can see. We're practicing, we're getting there. We'll uh, we'll swing this thing around in the, the corner here. Turn a couple laps the other way. We don't uh, we don't quite have enough room in that, that corner going that way. We may end up having to, to lengthen it out a little bit. Oh, nose dive. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna have to do some work to that back corner, that's for sure. That corner is a good one, or that jump, I mean, sorry, is a good one. That one's definitely a good one too. Oh, other than we got stuck. We uh, we need to do some work. 
Right there. Wind's trying to blow our camera down. We uh, we definitely need to do some work on the corners on uh, on some of the inside banking, that kind of stuff, to make it a little bit harder so we bounce off it instead of drive over it. But uh, there we go, a little bit better. She still really nose dives off that corner, that's for sure. That's a great one, though. Same thing with that one. Yeah, definitely just going to have to work on that other one. Oh, a little bit hard and fast on that corner. All right, well, we'll just turn ourselves, oh. Turn ourselves another lap here and then we'll finish this video off. See, I can't wait to, uh, whoa, rolled right over in the corner. I uh, can't wait to show you the next little RC that we're going to be unboxing from Traxxas. It's a little bit smaller than this, a little bit slower. I think it's going to really uh, like the track size a little bit better, even though this works pretty good in our big foot. But uh, I definitely think, definitely think uh, we don't want to get stuck up there. We really got to work on that corner. I definitely think that you're going to, like the new little car that we got coming to the channel. Oh, one more rollover. Bring the car over here and we'll finish this thing off. So as always, thanks so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. Remember to ring that bell so you get all the new videos. We still have lots to do on this track and lots of new stuff to build in, as in our very own RC park. If you have any comments on what you want to see us do, Drop them down there in the comments. And hey, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share this video to all your friends. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again soon.